YouTube, YouTube, YouTube. Let me know, is this how y'all out here driving? Wait a minute, hold on. Is this what y'all doing out here? Bro. Bro, is this how y'all turning out here? Bro, why is the steering wheel all the way to the right? The steering wheel to the right, but the tire is straight. Is that what's going on out here? Bro, no. Bro, I Bro, no, bro. No, bro. You need an alignment, son. You need an alignment today, not tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what's going out here in this old field? Y'all Peterbilt drivers, y'all driving too hard. Is that what's going on? Get the flat top over there, look at all. Look at how pretty. Is that what's going on out here in the oil field, boy? Hold on right here, man. You need more than just a laughing. What in the world you got going on right here, man? Man, what? The tire ain't even on yeah, the real. The tire busted, too. You didn't even know? Nah, nah, I just, I just know. Man, you need more than just the alignment, man. Yeah, no, we got a tire too, baby. Yeah, you, you alignment, tire. What else you need? Sure, you better. It look like the tires are brand new. You got a little where you gonna fall from right now, baby. Yeah, you good after that. You got brakes and stuff. Yeah, just that one tire right there. Yeah, everything else good. Me, it didn't take off the mud flap. Airbag still in one spot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Need some lotion. That's all. Get a little lotion. Get some grease. A little lotion. Yeah. Yeah, they don't they look much better over there. Y'all can't even see. Look at that. Brand new tire. Wait, man. Let me just get all the way over here. Here we go. They don't they look much better right there? Look at all that. All that smooth, fresh tape. Look at all that. Yeah. That's much more. Oh, you got two tires. Oh, you bought two tires. Is that right? Man, I don't think it look much more like it. Got a spare tire up there now. Man, that's what I need right here, man. I need this. A hose rack. Hey, he got it easy right here. How much? Somebody let me know how much these cost and where you get them from installed. I need this right here, 21 foot. 21 foot. Yeah, I need that right now. Right now. Alright guys, so we're looking at two flat tires. Brand new tire right here. This is flat. Cheap ass road. That's tire. Brand new. I don't even think it's 30 days old. Latest greatest shoe shine. Kind of off the green rim. It's kind of off the rim, but still on now. Then we got the old five-year tire, Grandpa. It's down to about, it's not all the way flat. Let me check Grandpa out. See what we got going on here. See if Grandpa got some life in it. This tire been on since I bought the truck. Grandpa working with, uh oh, 42 PSI up in Grandpa. So, Grandpa, Grandpa just needs some air. 42 PSI, and of course, that tire right there is just flat. Um, it's not busted, I don't think. At least I haven't noticed it. Probably had too much weight in the trailer. I didn't hear it blow, I don't see any damage to it. Probably just need some out, but then again, it is the latest, greatest shoe shine. And when I bought this tire right here, I told them I wanted, obviously, I wanted uh, Yokohama tires, as y'all can see. I wanted the Yokohama tires because that's what I got all the way around. To me, they just lasted the longest. But when I went in the lobby and came back out, this is the crap that was on my truck this off-brand road it's tire right here so it's not surprised that it's flat not surprised at all cheap little tire I think this was 
about $280 or $300, something right in now. And then, of course, the Yokohama is about $530, $550, somewhere right in now. So, uh, Grandpa, I'm going to air it, Grandpa up. That one, I'm going to leave flat. And uh, I'm going to take it to, uh, to the tire place in the morning. I don't know if I showed y'all this. We did replace both the cab shots and air bags and I may go ahead and replace all the other shots too since that tire right there uh looks like it just need air really but I'm finna air up grandpa right now show y'all how it's done get some tools out got an air gauge right here got it off Amazon for about forty dollars that's all it cost it Got some jumper cables too, just in case somebody need to jump. I keep the jumper cables, I keep some tools. Got three tool boxes, got some more underneath the bunk, as well as some spare parts. Got a spare starter and uh, some other parts underneath the bunk. So I'm gonna pull out this yellow air gauge, connect it to the glad hand right there, and air up grandpa right there. And grandpa, hell no, we're not replacing grandpa. Grandpa been getting the job done for five years. What we gonna replace grandpa for? But the latest greatest shoe shine, huh? No surprise. Not surprised that it's busted. That's what happens when you get the latest greatest shoe shine. So we got this glad hand right here. It is gonna connect to the red air line. Then we're gonna start the truck up, supply some air to the trailer. It's kind of oily under here. So we even got an AC line in case we need to add Freon one day. Got some, uh, what do you call that, ratchet straps, some gear oil, starter fluid. A lot of little tools under our grease gun. Uh-oh. Just finished unloading so we don't got no weight in the trailer. Like I said, I was probably probably had too much weight in the front of the trailer. I have a doubt it. I think what happened is uh huh, cheap ass tire. That's what happened. Don't go cheap on the tires. Which I didn't mean to go cheap. They just kinda I don't know. I don't know what they was thinking. Let me connect this right quick. Alright, so we got the glad head connected. Start the truck up. Get some air supply to this trailer. Right, so we got the air supply. So I can see red glad here. Nicely connected. Let's see if we can add some out here. So we had about uh, 42 PSI. We're gonna go to 100 PSI. It's gonna probably hold it for about 60 seconds, get that air gauge out and check it. So, like I said, this is Grandpa. I checked all the tires, the ones in the back. Of course, the back row is still good. This tire right here, Although it don't have the best tread depth. Wait a minute, hold on. Got the rubber sliding off right here. Give me a second. One second. All right, much better. Got the rubber sliding off right there. I was holding it at an angle. Like I was saying, we just finished unloading at the well, which is uh, about two miles down the road. Notice I had two flats. Went on and unloaded the trailer, pulled over here, inspected the situation. Notice I could uh, put some air right here in Grandpa. Like I said, I got this air hose right here off Amazon, about $50, $25, $25 to $50, somewhere right there now. 
so good little tool air up your tires by yourself and uh, as far as uh, I may I may can actually air up the other tire if it stays on the rim but we'll see so I'm gonna check it in a minute just to make sure that this uh, airline right here is working making sure I supplied the right amount of air I can feel it though so I'm pretty sure it is working I say we was at what 42 so it should be up to about 70 psi Got this off Amazon too. Huh. Everything off Amazon for the low. So 60 PSI actually. So it is working. Just need to hold it on there for a minute. A lot of oil action going on. So that's gonna take a minute. It's always good to check your tires. Like I said, I roll at about 100 PSI on all my tires. Keep some tools on me, keep this uh, airline with me. And you know, I knew uh, after I re pretty much replaced everything, I knew that my next issue was gonna be uh, blowing the tires, so it's nothing new, you know. Nothing new at all. I expected this. Didn't know when it was gonna happen. I just knew it was next. The next thing that's gonna happen on this truck is a tire. And, well, today is a tire. So, but unfortunately, they don't look blown. It just look like they just need some air. Maybe I hit something, knocked it off the rim. I'm not sure what happened. But uh, I know holding this air gauge right here, your hand definitely start hurting after a while. I ain't gonna hold y'all up. Let me air up this tire because I get I need to switch hands right quick. I'm gonna air up this tire and show y'all 100 psi. The other tires are still good, but once again, got the red glad hand connected to the yellow airline supply out to the trailer. Try to see, and uh, that right there allows you to pretty much air up your tires. I got a digital gauge here, 100 psi, so. You know, that's how it's done. All right, just finished airing up this tire. I couldn't get this one to air up. So that's gotta go to the tire shop to get air back up. It just needs some air though. But I'm gonna show you, I just packed up. Put the airliner stuff back on so I can see. Let's check it. Got uh, zero PSI. I put a hundred in here. See if it's holding. 99.6 So I'm gonna check this tire. I'm gonna drive obviously check it when I get stopped at the hotel and um, I see if it hold Got a little cap right there Could just need a new valve stem. You never know could be a valve stem leak on one of the tires. You never know Tire shop in the morning so far this week, me and my friends blowing tires. One week is tires, next week could be shots, we got that it could be airbags. It's all part of the business. Let's get packed back up. Slide that in now, all right y'all. Ready to roll out. Let's get my gloves. Ready to go. We got like four or five cooling joints underneath the bed. And uh, we got two gallons of water up top. The rest of them are empty, so I need to put water in that just in case. That's my other little storage space right there. But other than that, uh, no issues. Like I said, we just unloaded. It's about 7 p.m. at night right now. I'm gonna get rolling up out of here. I'll catch y'all on the next video.